financial accounting. We are looking at chapter 3, which is completing the accounting cycle. So I think the first thing we should do is review the accounting cycle and talk about what we're going to talk about today. So first off, you'll remember that the accounting cycle starts with transactions. And we make journal entries to record those transactions into the journal or if we're on a computer this is called the what? The transactions listing or the daily transaction listing because when we record the transactions they're in chronological order aren't they? Secondly we take those transactions and we post to the ledger and in, for our instances in class we've been using T accounts and you remember that a T account is basically looks like a T and on the left side is the debit side and on the right side is the credit side so we take the debits and the credits that are chronological in the journal and we copy them to the ledger so that all the debits and credits that pertain to various accounts like cash, accounts receivable, accounts payable, common stock, service revenue, uh, utilities expense are collected in one place. So we can go to the say cash account and find out what's our cash balance. In other words, how much cash do we really have in the bank? So same information in the journal and the ledger, it's just here it's by type or account, here it's chronological. Once we've posted to the ledger, we need to confirm that we copied our debits as debits and our credits as credits. So in step three, we prepare a trial balance. And all the trial balance does is it proves that after copying, our debits still equal our credits. And we'll do this transactions post to ledger trial balance Generally, most businesses do this every day because they want to keep up and make sure they're correct as they go forward. Uh, but then when we get to the end of the period, whether it's the end of the month or the end of the year, we look at our trial balance and say, you know, this is like my messy room. Some things are out of place and I need to clean it up a bit. So what we do and that we're going to spend our time on in this chapter is we're going to be doing uh, adjusting journal entries. And when we make adjusting journal entries, we're basically cruising through that trial balance and cleaning it up so that um, the assets truly are things that have future and potential value and our expenses do show expired or consumed items. Our liabilities are our responsibilities to others and our revenue accounts are what we have earned uh, in the period. Now, since we're making adjusting journal entries and we post these adjusting journal entries to the ledger, the next thing we have to do in step five is to prepare an adjusted trial balance. And again, all that adjusted trial balance proves is that you copy debits as debits and credits as credits. So that's the adjusted trial balance. Now once we have a clean room or all the things are in the proper location, step six says we're going to prepare our financial statements. And you'll remember in the previous chapter, the first financial statement that we prepare is the income statement, followed by the statement of retained earnings, followed finally by the balance sheet. And we can prepare this, these financial statements because we can pull the information from the adjusted trial balance because we know this is everything's in the right place. So we do our financials. Now once that's done and we can show the external world how we're doing, we may want to close our books, step seven, and to do that we'll make closing journal entries. And what closing journal entries do 
is it takes our revenue and expense accounts and it consolidates them and retains them either in the business as retained earnings or pays them out to our stockholders as dividends. And that's what the four closing entries do. Now once we've made journal entries again, what's the last thing we do? Whenever we post, we prepare a post-closing trial balance. And I'm going to abbreviate TB for trial balance. So those are the eight steps of the accounting cycle or the bookkeeping cycle.